It's one thing to copy exactly from a reference photo, but not everyone wants to copy from photos all the time. You may just want to draw a head simply from memory. If you want to learn how you can draw a realistic looking face or head, this is what this video is about. Now, when it comes to drawing the human head, there are basic proportions you want to follow. When you follow these directions and guidelines, you are in turn rewarded with a beautiful head. The first step to drawing the face or the head, and now you want to call it, is to draw a circle. Now, can you draw the human head without a circle? Absolutely, of course. Can you draw the human head without a circle and avoid making your faces looking like this? Probably not. You see, if you're a beginner, you need a guide like this circle, unlike a pro who can draw a face with his eyes virtually closed. But chances are you won't be able to draw a perfect circle on your first try. Well, if you can, I'll give you all the expensive materials I have here with me. Anyways, one thing that will help you to draw circles well is to move your elbows while drawing the circle instead of your wrist. Notice how my wrist is not sitting on the table. Rather, my elbow is the one moving while I'm drawing the circle. After you have your circle, you now want to divide the circle half vertically and also half horizontally. But that's not all. You also want to chop off the circle on both sides. You'll also want to be careful. You don't want to chop off too much or too little. Now the next step is to draw the lines where the circles and that line meet. This way you have a square shape in the middle of the circle. Now to be clear, we don't really need this part so let's erase it so that we can know what we are looking at. At this stage, we've already got into parts of the face. That is, you can see the top line is for the hairline. The middle line is the eyebrow line. The bottom line is where the nose will sit. But one thing is missing and it's the jaw. But now, where do we draw the jaw? Ooh, <laughs> that rhymes, eh? Well, if you haven't noticed, the distance from the hairline to the eyebrow is the same distance as the eyebrow to the nose. So, we just have to measure that same distance from the nose to the jaw. So, you measure that and bring it down for the jawline. Uh, sorry, by the way, my huge head is just getting in the way. Anyways, now we have the jawline and that's great. All that is left is to draw the jaw. <laughs> Again, with that rhyme, I just can't get over it. Draw a sharp jaw if you want to have a manly man. So we've gotten the jawline, the hairline, the eyebrow and all of that. But uh, aren't we forgetting something? What about the eyes? Where do the eyes go? Well, sometimes I just guess and draw the eyes somewhere below the eyebrow line. But if you want to be very accurate, you can measure half of the whole head and then you have your eye line. Now, we're all set. Let's start the real business. First, let's erase that straight line and make the head a little bigger. Then, we'll draw the eyes. To draw the eyes, you want to first divide the head into five spaces so that about five eyes can sit on the face roughly. This way, you don't run into the problem of making your eyes too wide or too close as most beginners have. Well, of course, you don't have to follow this rule to the T. Sometimes I make my eyes a little wider or closer or bigger, especially when I'm drawing cartoons. To draw the eyes, you notice I start with a parallelogram-like shape. To draw the eyebrow, you just have to extend a line from the outer corner of the eye a little bit upward and then you have your eyebrow. You can make it full or thin as much as you want. If you are drawing a man, it is better though to give him really bushy brows. Draw a line from the corner of each eye and then you have the width of the nose. For the mouth though, this may be where you want to follow your gut rather than following a particular guideline. But if you still want a guideline, what I am doing is dividing halfway from the nose to the jaw. Then you will draw a line slightly above that halfway line. Now, 
you just have to draw a line down from the middle of both eyes and then you get the width of the mouth. Start with the mouth line first and make sure that you don't draw his lips too big. For the bottom lip, you want to avoid doing this, that is drawing the line all the way. It will just look like a woman. Instead, you want to do this, that is just a short indication of a line and then some shading underneath. It seems like his lips are too big, so let me fix that. Ah, much better. Now, let's form the eyes around that vague shape that we have here. And of course, let's not forget the eyelids. Now, we just have to draw the hair on that eye line that we have measured. And uh, yes, before we forget, he's missing ears. So, let's draw his ears. The ears sit between the eyebrow to the bottom of the nose. Of course, you can give your character really big ears or small ears. Really, it's up to you. Now, we now want to give him some fancy hair. Notice how the hair goes a little above the main head. Another thing you'll also want to do is to give him a neck that is almost the full width of the head. The larger the neck, of course, the more manly it will become. I made the mistake of giving my male characters really small neck and it just made them look weak. So I erase all the guidelines that we have laid and at this point, we have a fully fleshed male head. The plan was to just stop here, but you know I couldn't resist a little bit of shading at least. So I'm going to shade the head and uh, add life to him. If you want to know where to add shading on a male head, simply say so in the comments and uh, we can do a tutorial on that. One thing you want to remember though is that you can experiment with the features as much as you want. You can give him bigger eyes, you can make his nose really wide, you can give him a small mouth, raise his eyebrows a bit, make him bald, really it's your problem at this point. But don't be too afraid to experiment. Give him happy expressions, make him sad, make him look shocked. Look at photos and uh, dissect what makes a character look happy or shocked. Like for example, when it comes to being shocked, you might notice that the eyebrows jump up, the eyes are widened, the mouth is slightly opened. When you take all this into consideration, this will give your characters more life. And yes, I said I just wanted to give him a little bit of shading, but then it became this. Man, I always go overboard with shading. Though, it looks good, really. He's the kind of guy that can be regarded as handsome by today's standards, though his hair really needs some work. Let's call him Jake. Yes, Jake. <laughs> Anyways, that's all for today's video. Next, we'll be drawing the female face. I also have a video on shading that will be very helpful. Watch that. Yes, that. And I'll see you in the next one.